What is most important is our party has a fundamental organization system and a fundamental leadership system. Democratic centralism is a very effective organization system and leadership system that our party has formed based on many years of practice. China has become the world's second largest economy, lifting hundreds of millions out of poverty, all under the leadership of the Communist Party of China, the CPC, the party. How did the CPC transform the country so dramatically? What is it about CPC leadership that enabled China to develop so rapidly? The CPC has ruled China since 1949. It has more than 85 million members. Why then is the party such a mystery? Whatever the reasons, the veil should be lifted. That's why the CPC is reaching out to international audiences by publishing a series of books titled Understanding the CPC. China has many challenges and outcomes will affect the entire world. The only way to grasp current conditions and anticipate future prospects is to understand what the party is and how it works. So, two questions. How does the CPC govern itself? And how does the CPC govern the country? Understanding the CPC gets us closer to China. New World Shopping Center, Shanghai. One of the world's most prosperous metropolitan centers. More than three million people visit here every day. It is a window for the world to witness China's economic miracles. A stone's throw away from this fashion center stands a historical building. It is the site of the first National Congress of the Communist Party of China, the CPC. Since its opening more than 60 years ago, the two-story Shikumen building has hosted more than 1.8 million visitors. On July 23, 1921, 13 members held their first National Congress of the Communist Party of China here, marking the birth of the party. Since then, the number of Communist Party members in China has risen to more than 86 million. That's one in every 18 Chinese people. The party has more than 80 million members, 86, 87 million, which is larger than most countries in the world. How is such an organization managed? What are its organizing principles? Yan Hongge is the vice president of the China Training Center for Senior Personnel Management Officials. It's the main center for cadres in China. In 2014, it provided training for more than 10,000 organization officials. Jiangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjang
组织，都叫做党的基层组织。The party has 80 million members,、uh, and 80 million members, it's very it can't operate as a, as a unit. Everybody has different opinions. Uh, so it's important to understand the process by which the party decides internally every five years or every year at the plenary sessions, and then that is、uh, communicated because the the presupposition among many people in the West is that th there is on paper a very good mechanism, but in fact the party is basically run by a very small group of people at the top. Who make the decisions, and everything else is、uh, so-called rubber stamp or、uh, or just form, not substance.、Uh, and on the other hand, I hear in recent years people are talking more about intra-party democracy. So, from your perspective,、uh, to give foreigners an understanding of the change in the party, the dynamics in the party, how has party-making decisions? Been changing from、uh, and enlarging the the group of people within the party who are participating in the process of decision making. 把八千六百多万党员的意志能够统一起来，形成个统一的意意志和行动。除了正确的理论和思想路线以外，最重要的我们党就是有一个根本的组织制度。和根本的领导制度——民主集中制，这是我们党经过多年的实践形成的一个非常有效的组织制度和领导制度。Yu Yunyao is the former vice president of the Central Party School of the CPC Central Committee, and current president of National Society for Party Building Studies. Having spent most of his life studying the Communist Party, Yu is the authoritative source for party building theory, its organizing principles, disciplines, and regulations. Democracy unified is one word to say. It means to have democracy. 又要有集中，民主和集中两个方面缺一不可，要有机结合。民主集中制在执行过程当中，最重要的我理解，我们党是努力做到三条。第一条，充分发扬党内民主。我们党把党内民主是看作是党的生命，所有党内的重要问题都要经过党内的广泛的、充分的讨论，然后才形成决议。第二点，我们党是一个强调集体领导。我们各级党委实行的制度，是集体领导与个人分工负责相结合的这种领导制度。所有的重重大问题，不能一个人说了算。所有重大问题都要在充分充分酝酿的基础上，在党委会上进行讨论。最后按照少数服从多数的原则进行表决。第三点，民主集中是很重要的是，我们党始终坚持四个服从，也就是个人服从组织、少数服从多数、下级服从上级。全党服从中央，这四个服从就保证了我们党能够行动统一、高度行动集中、集中统一、行动一致。Experts argue that the system has also proved an efficient method to select competent officials. 今天的很多西方观众可能知道习近平主席。
Professor Xie Chun Tao is the director of the Party History Teaching and Research Department at the Central Party School. He's also a recipient of the National High Level Personnel of Special Support Program on Philosophy and Social Science. Xi Jinping Zhu Xi in China's recognition is very high. Xi Jinping Zhu Xi, how can he become the head of China's Chinese government, become the Chief Minister? Well, we have to look at his experience. Xi Jinping from China's village government head of the Chinese government, all the way to the Chinese government head of the Chinese government, used 40 years. His political change, the big change, happened 16 times. His work in the region of the country has more than 1.5 million. He is because of the political change, he has reached the point of today. He is also because of the 党内的广泛认可，才走到了这个位置。我想讲一件事儿，那是二零零七年，中共十七大的前夕。习近平是在一次重要的推荐会上，成为十七大的新的中央政治局委员的候选人的，说明习近平是因为他的政绩，因为他的杰出表现，赢得了党内的广泛认同，所以。他才会一步一步走到中国政治的最高层，他能成为最主要的领导人。那我想，这个过程肯定应该说是民主。所以，领导消息。The leading groups fully reflect the party's organizing principles: democratic centralism, individual deliberations, decisions by meetings, and collective policy decisions. 这样一个。On November 15, 2012, Xi Jinping and other newly elected members of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee met with Chinese and foreign press. The Standing Committee of the Political Bureau is elected by the Central Committee of the CPC, which currently has 205 members and 171 alternate members. The power of the Central Committee is endowed by the National Congress of CPC, which meets every five years. In addition to the current seven members of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau, the Central Committee also elects the General Secretary of the Central Committee and the current 25-member full Political Bureau. The Political Bureau and its Standing Committee carry out their work via the Secretariat of the Central Committee. The Central Committee also selects members of the Central Military Commission of the CPC. The National Congress of the CPC also elects the Central Commission for Discipline Inspection of the CPC which is tasked with enforcing internal rules and regulations of the party. Every 做的决定以及在执行过程中遇到的一些问题，再做出决定，再做出部署。那么在党代表大会闭会期间，中央政治局就行使中央
代表大会和中央委员会赋予他的职权。所以，根据代表大会和中央全会这些重大决定，具体的怎么办，都是由我们党的中央政治局和他的常委会。来领导来运作的，所以中央政治局、中央政治局常委会集体讨论决定，在党代表大会闭会以后，和中央委员会闭会以后的一些事情，实际上就保证了，既能够不违背大会的决定，同时又能够根据变化的形式和任务，及时的。对各方面的工作做出部署，所以每次的中央全会、每次的中央政治局会议，都是我们党的政治生活中最重要的事情。全党都按照中央的要求来行动，这就是这种运作的模式。Another key element in CPC's decision-making process is the leading groups. Such leading groups are usually led by one member from the Central Committee and serves as a platform for discussion and coordination between different departments. There are leading groups for financial and economic affairs, for rural workers, and for deepening reforms in a comprehensive way. In the leadership of the party, leading groups or small groups are extremely important in key areas of setting policy. How do they work uh, within the party? How do they set policy and how do they implement policy? Kun 先生知道，我们中央有很多个领导小组，包括全面深化改革领导小组和财经领导小组等等各个方面的领导小组。这些领导小组保证了党的领导意志的统一，这是我们党的领导体制当中一个重要的设置。Professor Julian Jun is an expert on party building at the Party School of the Central Committee of the Communist Party. The school is a higher education institution that specializes training officials for the Communist Party. So, in researching the Communist Party's leadership style, we need to study our leaders. Actually, the leaders are the Communist Party's leadership style, a very important system. Many foreign friends may not know this. How do they work? I think the leadership style of the Communist Party is the most important part of the Communist Party. 在领导小组，首先领导小组要这个在制定某个政策或决定某个政策出台之前，领导小组的要进行大量的调查研究。我比较了解的是，我们党有一个党建领导小组，党建领导小组他要做出一个重大决定之前，党建领导小组会到全国各地去进行调研，了解党员，还有党员干部，甚至。党内的研究人员，还有党外的研究人员，对某个问题的认识，大量收集信息以后，领导小组会召开会议，把这些会议收集的信息通过会议的形式，把它变成政策的模型或者政策的原型。这些政策原型一旦确立以后，还要在一定范围内征求意见。征求意见完成以后，经过若干次修改完成以后，最后再拿到相应级别的。党内的重要会议上去，通过表决，比方说，全党的重要的党级党贵，通过领导党建领导小组来制定落实以后，要放到中央政治局常委会去讨论。经过讨常委会讨论，会议决定集体决策以后，最后再放到有关部门去把它颁布落实，甚至有些党规党纪还要放在党的代表大会上去让。全体党的代表来投票，表决通过。这个是我了解的党的领导体制当中一个最重要的环节或者元素，叫领导小组。所以，领导小组它充分体现了我们共产党的组织原则，就是民主集中、个别酝酿，啊，会议决定，啊，集体决策，啊，这这样一个民主集中制的会议决定原则。Although China has only one ruling party candidate selected by the CPC, still gets the voters' approval in every election.
President Xi Jinping says that for China to achieve its goals of building a moderately prosperous society by 2020 and a fully modernized nation by 2050, which defines the Chinese dream, the party must rule China and the party must rule itself with discipline, dedication, and competence. Party effectiveness, she said, should ultimately be measured by the real benefits the people have reaped, by the improvement in their lives, and by how well their rights and interests are protected. It's 5 a.m. in Beijing, January 1st, 2015. Before dawn, people gather in Tiananmen Square to witness the flag-raising ceremony. To most of them, the first flag-raising ceremony of the year demonstrates their pride and emotions about the country. I feel my country is rising just like the rising of this flag and the sun. It symbolizes hope and makes my heart full. The design of the PRC national flag features five gold stars. One big star at the center and four smaller ones around it. The larger star symbolizes the Communist Party of China, and the four smaller stars symbolize different social classes. The orientation of the stars represents the unity under the leadership of the Communist Party. Some surmise that there is a certain force in the Communist Party that works like gravity, pulling people towards the center. The party creates the vision for China. It has the overall, overarching vision of what it wants to achieve. But the organs of government are through the State Council, reporting to the National People's Congress, and then independently the judiciary. How does the party, in, on, a, on a, an operational basis, enforce its ideas or enable the organs of government and judiciary to do what the party wants? What is the actual process of making it happen? Chi 党委来做出的。然后这些决策的实施，由在各种不同的机构担任领导的党员、领导干部去实施。Well, since the Communist Party of China is the ruling party in China, many of the policy initiatives actually come out from the Communist Party of China after extensive consultation with all walks of life. Victor Gao Zhikai is the director of the China Association of International Studies. But when the decisions are made, they need to be adopted by the government as government policies, and they also need to be approved by the National People's Congress. And also in China, we have this very unique establishment called the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, CPPCC, which serves as a very important uh, advisory body which can provide opinions and recommendations or even criticisms on all the major policy initiatives by the Communist Party of China. When you look at the political rivalries between the Republicans versus the Democrats in the United States or versus or uh, political rivalry between the Conservatives as well as the Labour Party in the United Kingdom, you do see a lot of uh, polarized the political interests, sometimes narrowly defined national or uh, political interests which need to battle themselves out against each other. And uh, eventually, for example, the party which prevails may rule the country by caring more for the more narrowly defined interests rather than caring for the national interests as a whole. In China it's just the opposite because the Communist Party of China does not just represent the working class, 
It does not just represent the farming class, for example. It does not just represent the teachers or the doctors or the lawyers, etc. I think, in the best sense of the word, the Communist Party of China does try its best to represent interests of all walks of life in China, and eventually achieving a more balanced view of the various interest groups in China, and eventually come up with a national decision or national policy. In 1949年新中国成立的前夕很多政党公开宣布接受了中国共产党的领导那么至今他们也接受中国共产党的领导中国的这样的独特的政党制度在世界上是少见的我在向外国政党人士介绍中国的政党制度的时候我会特别的讲中